Hey, down here. Okay, well, I'm back on trying to fix the horn on this blazer, and well, when I keep putting my hand over it, there's the relay. And yesterday I figured out how to test it out on my bench with a battery, tool battery, uh, and I figured out, you know, what it should do. And uh, I showed that in the video anyway, and it seems good. It uh, will make my test light come on, and. Uh, it will uh, hold well, almost, you know, a few like a half, a few points less than the full voltage of the battery. It was like 10.9 or something, and it was holding like 9.45 or something, 55, a few points less. But anyway, um, and interestingly, it kind of threw me off when I used the test light and did the same thing using the voltmeter and the test light. It only got past through three volts, so the test light was using up that much of the voltage. So anyway, I think it's good. And when I I got the horn button all back together again. Oh look, it worked. Okay, so when I do that, it just clicks. <laughs> it just did it one time. Okay, so and it'll do that sometimes. And all you know, it did it some at the beginning yesterday and then it wouldn't honk again. Now there's a, oh, that just reminds me. Uh, what I was fixing to do is try to hook up the volt. Uh, so I'm getting voltage to the horn. I was fixing to hook up my voltmeter in line before it goes to the horn, but right there before it goes into the firewall, not firewall, but the grill area. So it's hitting, it's not what makes it honk. <laughs> I think the horn's either about gone or I read something. Let's just take this with me now. Let's see, yeah. I may set it out on the truck or something. Just leave the light on so when I come in here I'll be able to see. Leave the light on for me. But uh, I've got it on an extension cord this time so I can have it plugged in to my, my drop light with the plug on it. But still move around pretty pretty good. So see, that's pretty good. So what I used in the house and it dawned on me today, well, heck, I can take it with me. Yeah, I've got my... Uh, upside down hat backwards hat on today because it's about, I'm gonna take it off uh, I just put it on so I could get into the truck and look uh, easy without any troubles but um, uh, let's see cords are all fine so there we go maybe I should go through the window because I don't want to cut it if the door if I happen to decide to shut the door yeah, making a good video now. Okay. Uh, yeah, then I can I can leave the door open since the lights don't even come on on this side. That switch, but sometimes it'll pull me and it'll start working. Oh, good, it came unplugged. Uh, you know what? That's a lot of trouble. I've got another extension cord right here that I can plug this cord into, and then whatever I decide to do. I won't have near as much trouble. Let's drop that down there. Oh, of course it's gonna. Oh, don't uh, don't spring right back. Don't drop that. It's not good on the connectors on the phone either. I just let go of it, not thinking. Okay, now here's the. I'll just put it like that for now. I crawled under and looked again to see, make double sure I didn't actually have another. Are we still recording? Yeah, sometimes when you jerk the phone around a lot, it somehow turns it off. Even though I wasn't touching the front at all, sometimes it turns off the video, especially when you mess around with the cables up. It seems like, sometimes, not always, but sometimes when you plug it into power, it will turn it off. The video didn't do it that time. I'm going to tie this up so it won't come loose. That's not a very tight connection. Some of them are, you know, hook up better than others. That's that way works best. It'll go either way. Some of them, you know, they don't want to go. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave it right here for now, and then that needs to be taped to the tripod or something. I'm not gonna do it now. <coughs> Let's see. Yeah, I don't think I need my little. I didn't want to put it well. It makes me hot. I'm sweating it even twice as much as the sun. So, uh, get rid of this hat. 
Oh, I found the wasp, uh, the yellow jacket nest, but it looks, there's about four or five of them on there, but I think they're all dead. I sat there and shined a flashlight on them. That's why I had the hat on so I could get down. I forgot to put it on yesterday. And, uh, well, I didn't use the creeper today, but anyway, I rolled the creeper over my ponytail and I was for a minute there. <laughs> I always wear that backwards hat when I'm on the creeper. And I like to do it when I'm, like, sticking my head in the full board of the car and stuff, but I didn't. Well, it was just too hot yesterday. It was even hotter yesterday. Anyway, I got my, got me another old bathroom floor mat. One you know, it was in a box. It's all washed and fresh and clean. But let's see. I'm going to do the voltmeter test before I hook up like that other horn. I, the next thing I would want to do, I think, is hook up that other horn from the van. Hang on. Okay, yeah, because the sinuses are running again today a lot. But I know it was like, what was it, 80, 80? Yeah, I think it was 80 before I came out. It's, it's probably around the same, maybe 82 right now. I didn't get out until 10.30 this morning because I was so tired. I slept 10 hours, and I didn't wake up till 7.30. I didn't get to bed till 8, a little after 8, and I sleep at about 8.30. Because I went, I didn't. I kept working until 4:45 yesterday, and all I did was eat supper and go to bed. Well, I did a little reading. I think after I finished, I was kind of eating supper really slow and reading and watching little videos on all this. What kind of stuff? So I'm going to take it and uh, I'm just going to leave this right here for now. Or do I want to put it? Oh, let's put it over here where I'm going to be. I think that'll be better. Yeah, right in there. Not too bad, I don't think. Well, I could. Now that's good enough. Okay. So if I'm gonna be right there, and if I don't yank my cords loose from each other, they get to tangle up, aggravating me. Okay, but at least I tied it off. So uh, okay, I got it in a place where it won't yank loose too easy. If I catch my big foot on it, and you see, I don't need the whole. Uh, that if, if I get down low, then it, you can see it. If I go up high, this background, this light washes it out. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I think maybe I can use. <coughs> Use some jumper wire or something here, and uh, I already made a little hole. I already taped it up too. Oh well, I want to take it off. Let's see. I want to be able to see it in the cab. That was why I was going to put the phone over this way more. Yeah, I, the main thing is that I got to see this to get a good test. Pull it somewhere where I can see it. <coughs> there. Yeah, but that won't work until I get everything ready. I'm going to take the tape off. I didn't want, I wanted to make sure and tape that up so that it couldn't get corroded too easy. And I, I uh, did it right before I went in. I didn't know if I'd ever get back in here again, and I wouldn't remember, you know. This, this little spot, I purposely pulled it out in this little wire loom. Wire loom, I couldn't remember the word yesterday. And, uh... So that it would be up in the wire loom when I put it back. I thought I'd save that piece of tape since it's brand new, but that ain't happening. Wadding up on me, no problem. Thinking that maybe I should get closer to that.
can get a bit closer, I think. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know if that makes it better or worse. There. Okay. And then I may move again in a minute. But we'll see. Because I just realized it's always nice when you can actually show what you're doing. You know, like the. I don't know if I can get the button meter to be red rather. By the camera, anyway. You need if I could. Okay, yeah. If I could get that, you know, that's probably the best pointy thing I've got. Is that? Oh, beer. I mean that test light. You know what? I think did I already try this? I think I did, and I didn't get any. You know, if I'm getting power out here to this, and this test light's in here, then it should light up when I hit the horn. I did that, and I don't think it worked. Or if it did, I've already forgot. Yeah, this is where I scratched a little spot for it. Right here, make sure it's hitting the ground. Okay, I'll try that. Now I'm gonna go honk the horn, see if it lights up. It does light up, so I don't actually, I do want to see how many volts it's getting if I can. I don't think you could see it, it's standing up too high. I'm going to put it in the camera. I think it'll work. There it is. Right there. Okay, I think you'll be able to see it. Okay, did you see that SOS? I think that's SOS in Morse code. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I need help. I need help bad. Okay, so now let's put the bulb meter on here. I'm going to put it where I can see it if possible. It's not long enough. Okay, so I'll put it up here. Not long enough for me to... Try putting this clip on top of this as well. Probably, I don't know if that ungrounded it or not. We'll see. Yeah, power. How am I going to get power on it? Oh, I can only stick one pointy thing there at a time. Okay. So, yeah. Take the test light off. Now I'll put this back up here. Yeah, I had it right up here in a pretty good spot. where I had it on my uh, winter washer bottle. Pump's not working, but at least it can hold my voltmeter. I'm going to need something to hold this. Get this paper clip will ground. That won't work. Okay, I'm going to get something for the... I'll just use this... Uh... Oh, yeah. I'm going to just use this clip. Mosquitoes are eating me up, even though I sprayed down with mosquito repellent. Okay, so I'm going to hook up my ground first. Put this here. Yeah, I can do just enough on the end of that little bitty lead to get a small clip on it. I think, yep. And now I can hook it up here. Now if I hook this up. go in there good like the other one. Okay. It's already got 12 volts on it. No, that's negative. Oh, it says negative 12 now. But, uh, let's see what happens.
It's sitting there good and it's showing a spider. <coughs> that was a regular spider. I don't think that one. Well, they bite too, probably. I don't don't remember ever seeing one of those biting me. A little grayish one. Wasn't as brown as that one I killed. The other day. Anyway, I blew it away. <coughs> um, okay, that doesn't make sense. It's showing negative voltage just sitting there. Negative. It went down now since it's been sitting there a little bit. It went down to. Uh, if I move it, it'll probably make everything fall. Let's see. And you heard the horn honk for a minute, for a second there. Oh, it just kind of. Yeah, it fell off, but maybe I can put this in the camera. Just hold it there. Okay. Can't read it myself. Oh, I can see it. It's not. I don't know if I'm not getting connection or what. I must not be getting connection. Now I'm not getting anything. Let's see. Let's move my ground out of the way to where I can maybe set the. Yeah. Set the meter up. I don't think that's going to work. We'll try it anyway. Meter's not even in the picture right now. There it is. I don't know if it can be red. Maybe. My ground's off and everything now. I'll have to put all that back. Okay, now. Now the meter fell over. It's a good thing I caught it. Okay, I'm going to sit there. Get all. Now, now it's just sitting there hunting. And now it's negative. What? Oh, it's still hunting. Uh, that seems good. Why aren't you working? I know I'm poking it in there hard enough. Maybe watch while I do it. Now it's just hunting. Okay, so I wonder if it... Oh, I see. I, I had gotten off of my spot for one thing. Where I poked a hole in there. I'll try my test light again. What I'm, I'm starting to wonder is um, oh yeah, the test light only comes on when you honk the horn. So I'll try it again. See if something's changed. See if everything's in the picture still. There we go. Okay, now. I don't, now the test light doesn't want to come on. And it's showing a leg, okay, negative 1136, yeah. Now that's what it was doing a while ago. And then whenever I, uh, when I was watching it, whenever I would mash the horn button, 
it would go positive. Okay, so maybe I was never getting anything out of my voltmeter because, well, that's not 11, that's 108. I don't have the positive hooked up. I don't know if... There's one thing, I mean, the fact that the horn will honk sometimes, it may be that the, you know, the horn is... Uh, I read somewhere that... Uh, or saw in a video, can't even remember now, I'll research, that uh, it's just still hunting. Keep, I keep going blank. I'm thinking and trying to talk at the same time. That don't, I don't do that too good. Um, they say that the contacts inside the horn themselves will get kind of corroded when they're not used for a long time when the vehicle sets like this one has. And sometimes you can bang on it with a hammer. You know, well, I can't get a hammer up in there, but I can get a rod or something up in there. I got a big old pry bar. I didn't do that yet. But I was trying to see, you know, I want to see what kind of what's going on with the wiring. Every because of that spark I get, um, that spark that I get when I, you know, use a screwdriver or something to to uh, act, activate the uh, the little switch up in the steering wheel. Uh, that's you know that tells me for sure that there, there's power on that. And uh, the wire, I did find some wiring diagrams, kind of general ones, and they're saying that that's a, they're saying that that's a negative, that black wire coming out of the relay goes, that's the switch wire that goes from the steering column to the relay, and it's a negative wire, like black usually is. But I don't know, that's, I never did, I don't think that was, I think it was some bla I think I did find a blazer wi uh, wiring diagram, but it was like a year or two off, you know. But the thing is, is the horn has always worked all the years I've had it. Once in a while, it would act up, and uh, usually, like I said before, I had to replace it. That that part that that does the horn switch is part of the. Uh, usually, buy a, all in a kit, like it has the horn switch and the blinker uh, shut off and all that, and like a little kit. So it's been replaced a couple of times because of the blinkers. <clears throat> but see, it'll honk and then not honk. So, but it's not blowing a fuse or anything, so I don't think anything is really shorted. I mean, if you think if there was a short, it'd be blowing a fuse, unless there's something, unless that relay can do some sort of protection. And it's sh shutting off. And then uh, coming back on after a while. I don't think it can. Okay, now the light's blinking. I got it. I don't know. I, I don't think see why I'd be having that much trouble getting the lead. I mean, it's pretty darn pointy. It's not. They get big a lot faster. I don't, can't show it anyway. It gets big a lot faster than that long point on the light. But seems to me I should be able to get it in there just like I do the light, and it should stay. But even when I put pressure on it. That's the hot. The green one's the hot. I know that. So I shouldn't be getting a negative. I'm not getting a reading. Oh, go press the horn. Right. Okay, now it's not doing all that. Well, there it is. I think it's just hunting. Okay, so it should be in there. Now I'll go press the horn.
doesn't do me any good unless I can see the meter. So let me move the meter. Let's go, I'm going to do it again. I don't think it was connecting. I got a good size hole in there now, but can't seem to get it in a way to where it's really trying to stay on there. Stay in there. It's really not a good way like I thought. Well, I could maybe clamp it in there or something, but on the, you know, the end of it on there with a terabyte strips or something. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, yeah. So I know what to what here. Okay. This this ground wire is not working right. Something wrong with it. Let's try another wire. I'll just try this yellow one. If it had a, you know, bad connection. I don't know. I'm trying to hurry. Meter's beeping at me and leaving it on too long. I thought it shut down. I didn't know it beep. Yeah, maybe I got a bad jumper. There we go. Yeah. Okay, now it seems to be just plain. Yeah, it falls off. Okay. see how I can clamp. That's a hot wire. I ended up shorting it out. I was thinking about clamping it with the box kits, but they're going to touch this frame and short things out. Hmm. That should be making enough contact to do something. I don't understand that. I really think I'm getting a good enough contact, but I can't know for sure without being sitting there pressing on it. <coughs> Maybe I can. Let's try one more thing. That's kind of one of my original ideas here. Get enough of this wire. If these teeth are long enough. These aren't very long. And yeah. yeah. that way. Now here where it won't short on anything. I don't know if I've got it in there. That's the thing. Try that one. That still don't work. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to strip a whole chunk off of there. I could. I know. I don't like leaving the wires bare to where corrosion can get in there. That's the thing. Okay. Uh, what am I showing here? Oh, okay. There we go. Well, let's test my... Make sure my wires are good. My test leads. I haven't used them in a while. And if they're good, and I have a couple others. Dang. Yeah. All right, let's see. The 
Let's just come come over here to the bench and do that. Just bring all this junk back over here for me. I did it again. I think I better get me a... Wow, bad. Bad on the... Uh... I'm not used to doing it like this. So that's bad on the... Uh... I'm gonna get it up high enough to... There we go. Get it closer to... Follow me again. I think I better tape that that wall warp to my thing or something. Okay, now we put this on continuity. Uh, let's see, can I remember? Select. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that'll make it beat. Now wires are getting tangled everywhere. So I'm going to clip it on, and then I'll wiggle it around, make sure there's not an intermittent bad connection. That one seems good. That one seems good. may have a little bit of a bad connection. Yep, sure does. See. I think that ends okay, but this one is bad. Yep. So that one needs redoing. I want to cut it off right now. I'm not going to try to fix it, but I'm going to cut it off. And if you ever have trouble getting those off of there, you can do that. With a, either a, a round one like that, it's a little hard to stay on there, so maybe a square one will stay better. You don't see what I'm doing, do you? Screwdriver. Put it up in the jaws, and then you can pull that on and off at will. Otherwise, you fight it forever. So, yeah, the little connection. That's actually the fac factory Radio Shack connection. Been that way all these years. I didn't make that one. Okay. Uh, I've got some little cutters right there. So I will have to reuse that same one. I'll just go back about that far. That way I will know not to use that until I fix it. The cutter just Usually I just put a note on them, but I'm not in it. I'll put this in it on it. Now. For that. Okay, so well, I don't know which one. They're both yellow. I don't know which one I was using, but I used the black one and it didn't work. Tired of feeling with that, that because I think maybe just hooking a horn up to that. I guess I will have to tra track that wire down, but you know, taking that horn off and everything. Anyway, this one is bigger with bigger teeth. I've done a little welding with that one by accident. Let's check it before we start using it. I th I'm pretty sure it's good because I've been using it lately, but you never know if they have a. bad connection or not. I can't even see. One thing I don't like about the phones is these screens are they wash out so easy. Okay, yeah, that's good. I hate that tone, but it's way easier than trying to look at it. 
So, turn this around for right now. I'll go over there and hook things up and then I'll, and then I'll try it again. test light and see if I'm getting a circuit. Oh, you have to honk the horn, don't you? I can still do that because I can hook that. That's got a clip on it. I'm thinking I'll put that one's a big long one. I think I can put vice grips on it without getting against anything. Let's see if that light. I'm a lost male wire connector, spade connector. I've been walking on it and it's all scratched up. I know I dropped it somewhere. I imagine you can see that light. Yeah, it, so now it comes on every time. i got a good connection. So now I'm going to try my voltmeter again. Uh, I'll put it where I can see it. I'm just going to leave the camera where it is right now. I'm so determined to see voltage. I just well, I want to know how much. I want to know if there's like a drawdown or something. Or Still just seems to be hunting, so it's a mystery to me. I would think, I mean, I know that meter's not a real quick reader, but I've been holding the button in for that reason. Uh, and it doesn't ever bring up any voltage. Playing with that now. 
I think what I started to do yesterday is what I should have already done. Is yank the horn off of that band and hook it up. I'm going to be stripping the wire down now, no matter what. I pretty much almost got it stripped down. Now that I put that, put that clip on there and squeeze it with the vice grips, it's punctured on both sides. leave it like that actually that'll be my way to hook up that horn so me <coughs> the door shut like that and I don't know I was debating about whether I should carry this outside I mean I'll be really far away I guess I'll carry it with me after I get uh, after I get the hook, oh, van opened up and all that I'll carry this over there and put it somewhere it would be awfully good if I had that every time I forget and drop that Be another set of problems though if I tape it to them legs. So I don't know. I'll leave it there for now. Gonna get it away from where I don't knock it down too easy. Okay. I might have to eat lunch soon, I guess. Let's see. Um, oh, there's two things about this horn, and that was banging on it. And uh, I thought if, it, if it's contact, you know, if maybe spraying up in the horn, I don't know if it would go to those contacts or not. They may be completely separated. But I thought about spraying some, uh, see, you know, uh, contact cleaner in there. Let's do that before we take that other one off. I keep forgetting what I'm trying to, what I want to do. So, uh, go back to the truck, and I'm going to crawl under there. I may set this on the ground. I, 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 only way I, I had to hold it, and I can't work with, um, you know, the camera and hold and do anything. I don't think. We'll see. Now, what do I want? I want a light. Okay. figure out if it's in the section with the uh, lights not as good as it used to be it dims out pretty quick I'm trying to figure out if it's in the section where I'm looking I think there's a divide looks like there's a divider between that and the headlight area so I was trying to see it I kind of know where it is I guess I found it from the bottom I guess that's where I'm gonna have to go to see it again and then I can figure out exactly where it is Oh, you couldn't see what I was doing because of the way I, I said I was going to crawl under. Okay, uh, let's put it like that, I guess. Ah. Driving myself crazy trying to do video. Okay, let's see. I might need to drag my drop light around here. I think that's, that's what I use it. This is... Yeah, this will work for right now, I think, because it, you know, it does shine a little beam up there. But up here, 
I'll do what everybody does. Where's my finger? There it is. Okay, there, right there, there's this divider. And so the headlights are over here, and I don't know if the horns in there with them or over here. Couldn't see for sure. I can actually see the light shining from the sun right now. Actually, you can see it on the camera. That little That's a hole in the uh, front there. And that's where I was thinking, well, that, that's where it ought to be. That's just not good enough. I don't have anything better, except for the drop light, maybe. So I finally found it. It's not. I can touch it. It's right there. Yeah, that's a horn. Let me go see if there's one on the other side in that spot. And I just couldn't figure it out. Ah! Those giant hooks you used to throw in the truck, is that going to hurt your arm when you slam your arm? Then I can see better on that side than I could on this one. Yeah, they hurt your knee too. Yeah, you use the horn. It looks really funny from the side. It doesn't look much from the back side without the wires on. It doesn't look much like the one of these. So I'm going to try the tap on it method and the spray it. Man, that hurt. Spray it with the. Uh, Ow. I'm winding like a little baby. Can't help it, it hurts. Right. I wonder, I think we're still recording. Yeah. I wonder. bad, you know, it's dirty and rusty and corroded and that's the one thing I wondered from the beginning. I'm going to give it a bath in this way.
left. And I can't get to the whole opening of this. No, I'm gonna go all the way up there. I know this place can come down. I don't know. I never try oh. You know what? I think there's three screws in that. I was not wanting to try to take it out because I thought it was really hard to get to. Let's find out. Get the rust rust. on the ground and maybe you won't uh, it won't have as far to fall when you drop it. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Let me get down there. Well I got my old upside down hat on and everything or backwards hat. I'll get down there and look up and before I start taking all that that bus buster needs to work a little bit anyway on that grill. So, uh, get down here and look up. Let's see what I can see. That little shorty chair helps when you're old and you can't squat. <coughs> See, that's like one of those backed-up bars that helps you get up. Oh, you didn't see that. That right there. You thought that was a brush guard, didn't you? Oh, that's to help old people get up when they get under their truck. Okay. Uh, Half of it, not really. Let's see. Yeah, you can see the whole grill now. Okay. Let me go get the. Uh, see if my battery. Oh, it hasn't been charged. But let's see if my battery has anything in it at all. To, 